the truth remains that a church must go he must step down this is not because we don't love him this is for the sake of millions of zambians especially the poor he must step down we must tell ourselves the truth that the person we thought we are campaigning for is not the person that took over power we gave power to somebody that is antisocial he doesn't like people especially the poor the uneducated and the blacks the president is more free and comfortable around the whites than the blacks the president feels safe around the rich the educated than the poor and the people on the street during campaign i remember several times that i forced him i feel pity for people that uh, think that i don't speak to the president or people that think that i don't communicate to the president the time of evidence is coming and i will show you everything i remember during campaign i was the one that was pushing him to go out go to the field and fight from the field go to the street and meet people on the street i see a one was doing it and the president told me to say look i when i go to the street they will arrest me i told him go there let them arrest you the more they arrest you the more we are getting vote of sympathy when he go to the street he sees the result and he come back to me and say look people are happy because i was on the street we forced him to be a social person personally myself i see one i forced him to be a social person pushing him to go in the compounds go and meet people i know that he, the president is a person that do, is not free among the blacks or among the poor but we needed it because we are campaigning we needed it and that was forcing him to do that a church is not loved by the people let us be clear with this president a church is not people's favorite we made him people's favorite we painted edigalungu black we made sure that edigalungu becomes a demon that people while voting we are thinking that if they voted edigalungu in by now zambia would have been gone we put those fears on people and there was no option than to vote in HH. HH is not loved by the people. If he was loved, I mean, that guy is, was the longest serving opposition. How many times did he contest and lost? We came in and branded him and made him a social person by force. He doesn't have the heart for the poor people. There are people that is free with the, 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 comfort, the rich guys that is why as a president voted into power he has never visited his uh, party headquarters he doesn't care what people are going through on the street he doesn't care about anyone what he cares is his white friends his educated friends and his rich friends if you check go to the catalog and see the people that are winning contracts in zambia they are connected to President HH. It's either their friends or business partners. Even in the mind, that's exactly what is happening. 
nothing for the poor if you are just coming from the street and think that you win a contract in this government you are joking you must be educated friend of the president and the rich if not there is nothing for you the poor people do not have any hope in this government that's what i'm saying for the sake of peace for the sake of uh, for the sake of the people of zambia that we convinced to vote for him he must go it's either he bring out someone from upnd that will stand in 2026 or he lets upnd go just like that because i can assure you that upnd will never win presidency in 2026 we can be playing you you can call me all sorts of name you can say what you want to say but i don't have time for those things i've proved myself enough i just did a voice note here in this group this is a group with few people but it's all over i mean millions of people are talking about it i've received uh, hundreds of messages from upnd leaders this is just on whatsapp on a group what happened when i go to the page and start telling people what i know about hh what i know about upn i'm going to mess up the, the party will die it will die flat out completely this is happening because of greediness the government is awarding contract to the friends of the president who do not care about the party the president has appointed ministers who do not care about the party they just want to be rich and rich alone the party is dying while ministers are becoming wealthy the party is dying while the president is becoming wealthy the 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 government cannot even employ a good photographer Check the pictures they are posting on the on the page of the president. It's like pictures that was taken in, the, in 1991, 19, 1990. Go to PF pages and see what picture is all about. Chelatukuta was doing a very good job. Publishing good pictures and taking good pictures of the president. And he was he was fired and thrown away to Brazil. It's just that he's an idiot also. He's, he's a useless press singer that anything you throw at him like a dog, he can eat. If not, the guy was doing a very good job at State House. But because according to them, they cannot afford it. Check the pictures they are posting on the page of uh, HH. I sit in president and check the picture that PF are flooding the internet with. Check the quality. You can see that these guys are greedy to the core. They are greedy that they cannot even sponsor their own government. They cannot sponsor their own party. They steal millions. They loot millions. They loot billions. I don't even want to go far. If I start talking now, I mean, the guy will not have peace. It won't have you won't have peace things will be messed up i just made a voice note everywhere is is stumbling people are waking up to talk what happened when i start going live and start pointing out who hh is who upn is what they are doing at state house we want him out in peace he must go for peace to reign 